Hi there. Uh, what I'm going to show today is my project, one of my first uh, Arduino radio projects. It's for a prototype homing device of sorts that combines a, uh, a Zigbee-based uh, tran radio transceiver with an Arduino uh, and has two components. One is a beacon, which remains stationary, uh, and the other is for a mobile handheld device that uh, can roam around. And the mobile handheld device picks up a received signal strength indicator from the beacon to determine how strong the signal strength is. Uh, and it parses that data from, uh, from the packet that it receives and displays that signal strength uh, based on a series of thresholds and some LEDs. So as you get closer to the device, all the LEDs light up. As you get farther away, theoretically, less light up. So uh, this, the radio's got a, uh, it's an XB radio. It's got a, I'm um, here, I'll zoom in on it. Uh, what you see here is the, uh, is the handheld version that I was just discussing. There's XB radio on the left, four LED, green LEDs across the top. Uh, and on the flip side is the Arduino cleverly attached with a high-tech uh, rubber band to the prototype board. Uh, again, uh, this, is, uh, this is a prototype. Um, there are a couple more things that need to be built on it. Um, I need to pull up the signal strength. Uh, it does currently work, but um, it doesn't, uh, isn't to spec. The, um, what else is going on here? There's no battery connection on this mobile device yet. I'll plug it in in a minute. Uh, let's take a look at the, um, at the beacon. The beacon device doesn't have a microcontroller. Um, it actually uses a, a analog signal um, that you can program with, uh, with, with the AT commands to automatically send out a beacon signal on a particular LAN ID, which is how I use it. There's a number of other things connected on this larger prototype board, which allow me to upgrade the firmware uh, through a serial connection and it does a bunch of things like signal inversion and uh, and voltage regulation because the XP radio is powered on 3.3 volts. Uh, it's really not as complicated as it sounds um, but this is also battery powered and I'm going to uh, to set it up here on the uh, on the windowsill and show you how it works. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is power up the, um, the beacon so uh, you can see how this works here. I'm using a 9 volt battery and you'll see uh, it powers on. Um, we have a yellow flashing light uh, to, uh, to show data transmit and a red light to show um, that the device is on or, or the other way around, can't remember. Next I'll power on the, um, the portable device uh, by plugging in the jack here and uh, and you'll see it immediately initializes and recognizes the single signal strength uh, of the beacon right next to it. It's showing all four green LEDs lit, uh, of course, because it's right next to the beacon. As I move away, I'm standing up and walking away now. Um, I'm maybe like five, six feet. Now I'm about 10 feet away. Oh, and I see start to uh, start to drop out. Now you'll see it, it pulls for signal strength fairly, uh, fairly regularly as those beacons dip out. Um, and there's various thresholds set for that. Uh, now we'll go outside and uh, and uh, and walk away and see how far we can get away for a test. So here I am outside the uh, outside the window sill, and you can see I'm registering uh, four lights. I'm going to turn around and it's going to start doing its thing, and I'm going to start walking away. Maybe if I could walk backwards, you get a sense of distance. You'll see I start to drop bars, showing less and less signal strength. I'm probably a good. 200 feet away easily by now, probably 300, so I might actually be beating the estimates. Well, I'm around the corner now. I'm probably about a block away, um, and I'm going to walk normally. I'm still walking. Wow. I'll keep walking a little bit further. At this point, I have a good block and a half, two blocks almost away from my house. Oh, and then it dropped. So that's about where I am.